And I think today's consumer uh, is smarter, they're more engaged, they have technology at their fingertips, um, and they have, uh, I think, assumed a certain amount of control over the things in their lives that they feel passionate about. With social media and the advent of um, social media, people have the ability to not just receive information, to but participate on it, to vote, if you will, with their wallets, with their opinions, to share that information, to find out who the other influencers are in that communication stream and get communications from those people, directly from opinion makers and thought leaders and companies that decide they're not going to engage. Um, they run the risk of having their story told by someone who's not an advocate for their brand, and that's a problem. In the old days, a story would come and go, and by the next day, it would be replaced by another story. Uh, with social media and other media outlets, online media sites, um, the broadcast networks and cable networks themselves having much more news content on their sites than they ever could have on television broadcasts, for instance, people are able to engage and stay with that story. Uh, the antibiotic story is a great case in point, where um, the idea that consumers demand no antibiotics ever be used on a poultry product from a scientific standpoint and an animal health and veterinary health standpoint, if they knew the reality of that statement, they would probably temper that point of view. Mm -hmm. But in the absence of any education and with some activist thought leadership going on to compel them to think and worry about those things, people pretty quickly come to conclusions. Companies that can tell their story um, and companies that can create a story that's believable with some evidence to back it up in this day and age of complete transparency and, and compliance, those are going to be the companies that prevail in the marketplace.